Hey guys, we had a fun filled weekend full of summertime activities. It's really the first weekend so far this summer that we got out and about to enjoy the sun. And so I thought I would share some of that funness with you guys and be sure to watch all the way to the end where I have a grocery haul as well. Everybody was kung fu fighting. pizza casserole keto diamond made in our picnic collaboration i will link that video in the description box below i just love the drive out to our campground it's so beautiful this is my aunt's campsite where we like to go on occasion we can see nash there on the golf cart which he is obsessed with and me smiling and there is nash driving the boat he had such an amazing weekend it just warms my heart all right, friends, I have a little bit of a grocery haul for you. So I'm gonna start over here. On the right-hand side, these are steaks. Today is Father's Day, so we're gonna grill some steaks for dinner because that is Kyle's favorite. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna make this roast and I'm gonna throw in some radishes and carrots to make it um, like what we normally do. Traditionally, I would do potatoes and carrots. So I'm gonna try it with radishes for the first time. I'm excited to see how that goes. And then here we have our frozen stuff. So I have um, rice cauliflower. I am gonna make that <clears throat> broccoli um, cauliflower rice casserole that I made a couple weeks ago. So I got just some plain cauliflower rice, some broccoli, and then I'm also gonna make like um, a broccoli salad like <clears throat> Wild Lindrica made for our picnic collaboration. And then this stuff, I'm going to make some shrimp and grits. So I've decided that the mashed cauliflower here reminds me a lot of grits. So I'm going to try it with some shrimp. So I'll just, um, you know, salt those out. And I have the three color peppers there. And I'll just put some Creole seasoning on that. I'll probably throw some jalapeno cheddar in here. And I'm so excited to see how that turns out. And then here um, we have those radishes. That I'm gonna put in with the roast and then we have some shredded cheese some butter because I was out I got these premier protein shakes I hear people talk about them all the time and I really want to try them so we're gonna see how that goes this week and then I got two packages of cream cheese because we always got to have cream cheese on hand and then here I have some Dale sauce this ranch I found and it only has one carb for two tablespoons. So that's the lowest that I've been able to find for a pre-made ranch. And then I got some of these ranch dip cups. I showed you guys the other day when I ran to the store for lunch. I got some of these and I'm obsessed with them. So I got some for the house too. I got some beef broth and some Hunt's tomato sauce. This is my favorite tomato sauce. Um, and I like beef broth better than chicken broth. So I just got that, you know, to have for electrolytes. So I also got these green beans. I got four cans of those. And I really need to show you guys how I make them because they are like the best green beans of life. And then I got these sliced carrots to put in with my roast. And then the last keto item is this sugar-free strawberry jello. I don't eat this very often, but... I have been wanting like fruity and refreshing stuff lately, so I thought I would grab some of those. So next we're going to move into stuff that I have just for Nash, so that's some non-keto stuff. So if you guys don't want to see this, go ahead and, and skip ahead. 
<clears throat> but we got some corn on the cob. He really loves corn on the cob. Some peas and carrots, his pear juice, and he drinks almond milk instead of regular milk because he has a dairy sensitivity. And then just some saltine crackers. And then the rest of this stuff is not food related. Um, we do have mosquitoes really bad in this house. I heard of like a, a homemade remedy for it where you mix in, you mix three cups of Epsom salt with a thing of mouthwash and then put some stale beer in it. And that's supposed to make the mosquitoes go away. So I'm excited to try that. And we got some uh, deep woods towelettes. I like using the towelettes on Nash better than the spray because of course the spray he breathes in. And we will be spending some time out Side today we use the last of our sunscreen so I bought some more sunscreen this is for your lips and then we just got a lotion and a spray got some neosporin because I realized that I have none of that some band-aids and then some lotion so Nash does have eczema um, so I actually got this gold wand for me but I will probably use it on him too depending on what room we're in but then um, this is what I like using on him I feel like it we get the best results using the Palmer's cocoa butter formula and then of course he smells like a little cookie afterwards and then just some cotton swabs so that is it for my grocery haul today